Can you talk about why you've decided to run for President of the United States? Well, my uh, 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 announcement of running for President of the United States to um, be head of the empire to help dismantle uh, it in such a way that poor and working people would be at the very center, at the very core of our vision of what a good society actually is. It has to do, as you can imagine, with the, this, these very bleak times and very desperate times. So it's a kind of act of desperation. You know, I'm 70 years old. I've been at this for 55 years. And I have a calling that flows out of the legacy of Martin Luther King Jr. and Rabbi Abraham Joshua Heschel and Edward Zaid and Steve Joseph and Dorothy Day and Grace Lee Boggs and Louisa Marino, all of those are the best of America. And I think uh, we're at such a low point that America needs to be reintroduced to its best. And its best has always been the movements for justice, the struggles for freedom, the, the solidarity based on a fundamental commitment to the dignity of those sly stone calls everyday people. And there's no doubt in my mind that the two-party system now is a major impediment for the empowerment of poor and working people. I'm thoroughly convinced that, uh, of course, the neo-fascist Republican Party uh, has already made it very clear that they tied to big business and big military, big tech and so forth. And the milquetoast neoliberal Democratic Party seems strikes me as being incapable of taking seriously the fundamental needs of poor and working people, not just here, but around the world. But it's also a matter of routinized indifference. There's an indifference to the plight of the vulnerable. More and more, it's becoming not just a fad in the fashion, it's becoming a normalized way of life. And that is what leads toward wholesale fascism, not just here, but in other parts of the world. And we've seen it, of course, in Hungary. You see it, we saw it in Brazil. We can go on and on in this regard. So for me, it's really a matter of trying to be consistent with what I've been about for the last 55 years.